What the? What? What is going on? at all holy crap <laughs> this is fine this is okay This is not a problem. Yes. <laughs> Journal entry added. Experience points received, 200. It's so weird. Well, that's impressive, though. I like that. Hell game. There are many sand pits around Sandrock which contain a variety of fish. What? I hope they're not here for this place. Uh, that was not me. I forgot the grease is flammable. The droid engages its patrol mode and moves off to carry out your programmed instructions. Good job. I guess I don't need to worry about the data spikes then. Was super fun. Uh. Katori's Museum. Where the past comes to life. Scrawled at the bottom in small text, it says, The Church of the Light requires us to specify that this is a metaphor. That works. Oops.
Let's go for Circus Maximus. Oh, and it's back here again. What the hell was that? For that. Not a bad ragdoll, that one. Not bad. Hey, <laughs> Gucci's. They're not kidding. This is much harder than it should be. I'm going to stick to normal. Ugh, that was atrocious. Wow. Oh, hi. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Upgird. saved recently. Look at that. They're all different. Oh, I love it so much. No, we're doing pretty decently so far. I'm sorry, I didn't actually mean to kill you. Important notice these dogs <laughs> are not dead, they are only sleeping. No animals were harmed during the production of this game. <laughs> I'm really glad they put that in there. <laughs> 
So this is a colossal size map, which is quite a bit larger than the largest available in the base game. And it is a an island plate style. So it's kind of like tectonic plates that are generated as smaller islands instead of giant continents. That looks good to me, sir. They seem a little unhappy with me. I can't imagine why. Uh, this fire that's gonna make the ship go faster, right? Forget, but I do know. Thank you. Of course, sir. I wasn't talking to you. Well, who else could you be talking to? Should I be concerned about your mental well being, Commander? You for a little while. Wow, that looks so creepy. getting there two-thirds so far so good I haven't died yet not going out fast. that pretty much means I'm guaranteed not to die ever I think no crash it to us now she's gone damn it you can't take risks like that watch your flanks so that's how you want to play it Uthgird, I'm going to need you to be real careful here. No. Yeah. <sighs> you try and warn them. They call them silent machete kills, but they definitely don't see all that seem all that silent to me. Well, 
Well, that escalated quickly. Oh. Where the hell did he come from? Good evening, folks. Welcome back to the Library of Lore. This evening we are going to... Why is my camera way over there? What the hell? Hang on a second. <laughs> That's worse. That's better-ish. Now I have to worry about cleaning my background. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the Library of Lore. How is everyone doing this evening? How's it going, Jim Racer? And you bring light it's in and you bring light in, sorry. And Sketchy Gamer and Dan Stara. I hope everyone's had a fantastic start to your weekend. We're gonna be doing some more Jurassic World Evolution 2 by popular demand under threat of riot. So let's see. Uh oh, I guess I need Steam. Uh, that would help. There we go. I'm very encouraged. I didn't see any trouble with the clips tonight. I hung around for a little bit before I really got started so that I could double check on that. And it looked like everything was working. Hey, Mr. Soggy Roman. Ah, uh, that sounds pretty cool, Sketchy. I hope the trip is going well so far. So nobody noticed anything going wrong with the clips tonight? I think it might actually have been a driver issue. I noticed something that wasn't really enough to properly perform a real diagnostic, but earlier today I was watching somebody play... Jedi Fallen Order on Twitch while I was playing Satisfactory and I noticed that the video was getting pretty choppy and janky and it was very much reminding me of the way the clips were behaving and it also struck me that the clips are a browser source in OBS and watching Twitch is a function of watching video in a web browser which is very similar to a browser source is basically the definition of a browser source. And so it kind of got me to wondering. And so I checked for a video card update and sure enough, the drivers needed an update and I fixed it and everything's been working much better since. So I'm hoping that's the end of the issue for a while. They seemed fine, excellent. I had been wondering about that sketchy. I do not know the vast majority of European cities. But that sounds really cool. Okay. We are not going to load a game. Look at this freaking... Uh, 94 percent. 90 freaking 4. And this is only four diamonds. We'll get to relax a little bit with uh, with Sorna over here, Site B. That's only a three star. But San Diego's only four. Then we get Jurassic World, which is five frickin' diamonds. And then Isla Nublar drops back down to the same difficulty we're on right now. And then uh, Dom Dominion. Uh, Dominion is five again. Although... Probably not going to touch that one until we've done the campaign for Dominion. And we're probably not going to do the campaign for Dominion until I've had a chance to watch the movie. So let's start a brand new game. And we'll see if we can Everyone beeline so some stuff. Everyone up in the moment. So impressed with what they'd accomplished. And then, chaos. A few years later, the dinosaurs made their presence known again at an island called Site B. Here was where InGen 
had cloned most of the dinosaurs that would eventually be transported to Jurassic Park. It was supposed to be secret. If not for human curiosity, it might have remained one. Peter Ludlow was now in charge of InGen, tasked with bringing his uncle's vision to life. John Hammond had wanted his precious animals to belong to the world. John sent a team to document the dinosaurs. What we found, to our amazement, was how quickly the dinosaurs had adapted. They had made the island their own. Ludlow had the investors. He had secured a location, but he still needed dinosaurs, and now he knew where to get them. Yes, it is, Jim. What if chaos yielded a different outcome? What if Ludlow's mission was successful and Jurassic Park San Diego had become a reality? That's our job, to make it a reality that actually works. But yes, that is the actual voice of Mr. Jeff Goldblum, who reprised his role in the films for the game. Ugh. One day, I need to get some decent wireless headphones, I think. I love the quality of these. They're really, really good. But the cable gets in my way something fierce. That is quite... Um unimpressive say how long ago was this place abandoned by ingen oh years after the, the incident at our first site we listened to the concerns doctor that's why jurassic park san diego was put on hold hold right but not cancelled uh mr mr thompson i believe in the work you know that's why i'm here yeah, and I'm here because I believe that I can advise you on how to avoid mistakes made previously. Understood. I know I can realize the original vision for this park. I admire your confidence. I've seen it before. <laughs> He's so good in this. I love it. So this is what all of that stuff originally started as. The hexagon Welcome pattern and all that, that's already here. My name's Lily Halford. I'm in charge of operations, and I must say it's absolutely fantastic that you're here. Mr. Thompson wasn't sure you'd say yes. Well, Mr. Thompson doesn't understand chaos or alimony payments. But, you know, he'll, uh, he'll learn, as you will, Lily. It, uh, it comes with the territory, I suppose. <sighs> I'm looking forward to it. I think. Well, as you can see, at the moment, the entire facility is a bit of a mess. Yeah, I saw it from the air. Looks uh, even worse from the ground. <laughs> okay, so construct an operational Everything response facility. Oh, sorry, Lily. Hang on, we'll get back to Lily in just a moment. I think the first thing we're going to do is draw this out a bit there we go okay get that going there and it's a response facility they want I want to try... Oh, ah, there we go. Try and keep things back a bit. So I have more room for convenient shops and whatnots. It has to start somewhere, even when it's starting over. So why don't we begin with the construction of a response facility and take it from there? Yeah, they brought in a lot of the uh, cast members to do voices, Jim. At least, you know, when they could. This game in particular has... I don't think it has as many as the original one does. I, I want to say... Correct me if I'm wrong, if anyone knows better, but didn't they bring in, like, Laura Dern and... um, Oh, what's his name? 
Sam Neill. I, I I think they brought in those guys as well as Jeff Goldblum to do voices for a major DLC for Jurassic World Evolution 1. Yeah, Sam Neill. So I thought we'd get the buildings repaired. Well, I mean, we could try to work with broken buildings. Oops. This one, I don't think they've got Laura Dern and Sam Neill at any point. I might be wrong. Maybe they do for Dominion. Who knows? I haven't heard anything about it if they do. But they've got Bryce Dallas Howard. And they weren't able to get Chris Pratt. Or maybe they didn't invite him, I have no idea. But they do have a pretty convincing sound alike for him. I once heard someone say that determination is power. And I like that. But let's flip it around. Together, we are determined to power everything. With actual power. How does that sound? Sounds powerful. Hey, Mad, how's it going? It's been a pretty good day, for the most part. My sleep schedule kept me from being able to see the rest of my family off when they took off, unfortunately, but... That's the only downside of the day so far. It's been pretty quiet and pretty chill and pretty awesome, aside from that. Okay. So we're gonna need power here, we're gonna need power here... I'm not sure if we need power up there. Probably not. Sounds like she was determined to power that pun. Well, sometimes you just have to power through it, you know? Okay. One thing I'm going to going to really try to do with this one is I don't know maybe I can enlist chat's help with this I'm not sure oh did I forget to repair something uh, I might need chat's help with this but I would like to try and get as many dinosaurs as I can get away with smashed into small enclosures because we're all about animal cruelty like that, I suppose. Uh, or mostly because I want to have as much money as possible quickly. And I think I spent probably way too much over designing the entire park when I should have been focusing on less and doing more with what I had and being ultra efficient about it. There we are. So, you know, maybe not even build enclosures over here right away. Maybe just use these two. And obviously we're going to have to do something with this one because that's the T-Rex compound. and We can't not do the T-Rex thing. Uh, okay, so what do we have to do? Make sure these buildings are powered. Amphitheater, viewing gallery, and science center. Theoretically, I ought to be able to do that off the one generator, even if it's going to look hideous. Oh my god, we can't... Oh, Right. They really start you with bare bones crap. Exciting day. 
The first dinosaurs are arriving from what remains of our operation on Isla Sorna. Well, wait a minute. Isn't, isn't most of the original site destroyed? Destroyed, but not abandoned. The assets still belong to InGen, and we're going to leverage them here in our new park. We're starting with a herbivore. We want to make sure it's well cared for, obviously, so we'll be monitoring its welfare. <laughs> Hope for the best, plan for the worst. And make sure you can find the nearest exit. Yep. Always listen to Dr. Malcolm. Okay, so we're going to continue the fencing to about there. Then we want to follow the curve of the path as best we can. Okay, so... Oh, these are actually the first guys to arrive in the park. It's kind of impressive they live so long, then. We'll have Pachycephalosaurus arriving in roughly one minute. So, let's get set up for their arrival. They're going to want some water. Very demanding. Always wanting water. Hey, I can be extremely efficient at times. I just happen to like a dose of chaos with my efficiency. Luckily, in the Jurassic Park universe, chaos isn't really something you have to worry about. You don't have to build it in. It's going to come for you with bared teeth and sharp claws, whether you want it or not. Okay, we'll put the ranger post over there. No, not two. Ranger team one. Let's add a task for you. You're going to be responsible for that ranger post over there. I don't remember the kind of food the Pachycephalosaurus want to eat, but we'll worry about that later. I feel like that's the definition of something I should worry about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. Here's a thought. Maybe we will provide a gate into the enclosure. Uh, hydrate, thank you. Dinosaur delivery. Pachycephalosaurus is being delivered to your park. Are you ready to transport it? Yes, I am. Asset transportation in progress. Asset being transported.
Excellent. Requires status check. Where's our team? Where'd they go? Ground leaf, okay. Asset status confirmed. Confirming asset status. Condition reported. We've completed. Excellent. Okay. We're going to get tons of ground leaf. Leafy climbers. Oh, did I? Wow, okay. I may have gone overboard then. Okay, so these guys are happy and taken care of. Now, who do they like to cohabitate with? They like sauropods, they like ankylosaurids, and they like stegosaurids. It's really starting to feel like the park is coming together. I've already seen one come apart. <laughs> All of our safety precautions are in place, Dr. Malcolm. They have to be with the latest deliveries. We have a small carnivore arriving. And larger carnivores, too, which are not any kind of cute, if you ask me. Well, knowing your history with a particular species, Mr. Thompson thought it best not to trouble you with the details. Oh, yeah, no, I've seen what a T-Rex can do. Uh, my, my therapist and I talk about it all the time. It's a, it's an alpha predator, and now you're bringing it here. <laughs> no, no. We know what we're doing. Yes, yes. And, uh, here's the thing, Thompson. I know what you're doing as well. Oh, okay. I love that dialogue. Hey, Patriotic, how are you doing? It's good to see you. see how much space we can get away with giving them knowing that we're gonna have to work down south of it okay so we probably don't want to do that Maybe if we go here.
Mm, sort of patriotic. City Skylines is a city builder. This is a park builder. They're both builders, so there's definite similarity. But I would compare this more to Planet Zoo, especially because this is actually by the people who made Planet Zoo and City, city Skylines, actually. Okay. There we are. Not certain this is going to end up being quite enough space. I think we had to enlarge this a little bit last time, but we'll see how it works out. Now this is going to be for the compies and for the rexes. So we're going to have ourselves a little lake in there. And, of course, the Rexes are very particular about their sand. in we need a ranger post hopefully that covers the vast majority of the interior space guess what ranger team 2 you've been volunteered and I think that's about it Browsers can't have two audios running at once. That's certainly not true. I've had multiple audio sources on browsers many, many times. Sometimes to my great confusion and endless hunting of tabs to try and find the offending source. There we are. Now we're also going to need a way to feed things. So we'll get the compies some food first. Delivery has been completed. 
Now, before we get our uh, T-Rexes, I'm very curious about something. What is our projected survival rate of these guys? Lifespan 82. Man, it feels like it's so much longer than the Rexes. Species, the T Rex and the Compsognathus, are central to our success at the park. They'll draw in the crowds. So now that they're here, let's ensure they're comfortable. Compies are gonna draw in the crowds, really? I really kinda suspect they're not going to. I guess we do a manual check again. Status update. Check complete. Check finished. Missing water. I guess we don't have enough. Oh shoot, do we have to research that? Crap. Okay, so we'll get that going. Now, let's see. Oh, didn't status check that one. Okay, so he doesn't have enough. He's got enough open space. Doesn't have enough water, but he doesn't need a whole lot more. They need prey, and they've got lots of sand. So they actually need a fair amount of water. So now it should just be prey that they need. Oh, right. I probably want to assign this. Not so fast, buddies. You gotta go back. Report 
should be everyone okay now I think we are ready with the Rexes I like to be seriously oh god you copies are annoying Just let me put the frickin' thing down. Thank you. Can you make a petting zoo? No. May well, maybe, actually. I rewatched Jurassic World the other week. And I couldn't help but notice that they did have a petting zoo in Jurassic World. So maybe we will be able to have a petting zoo. Open Jurassic it. Park. This wouldn't have happened without you, Dr. Malcolm. Hey, I want it on record. Uh, I'm not in favor of this park's existence. <laughs> this was John Hammond's dream. Delayed, but not denied. Dr. Malcolm, this facility brings needed stability to InGen's operations. That's a win for us both. So it would appear. And the park is a unique opportunity for our guests. Or, uh, you know, for the hungry dinosaurs. Jurassic Park, San Diego. Isn't it something? It really is oh, something. It's something, all right. A living illusion. But some of them you can only pet once. Wow. Increased dinosaur visibility. As impressive as the park is, it can always be improved, specifically in the area of guest comfort. We need to get the numbers up. Who doesn't love a cold drink? And it's a good way to keep up our profits. Keep an eye on the drinks amenity and the money should flow. Ultimately, everyone is at the park for one reason, to see dinosaurs. This is the only place in the world they can, and they want to. That's why you need to increase our dinosaur visibility. Give our guests a view their eyes won't believe. Okay, so... Let's have a look at our research that we've got available. Efficiency upgrades, dinosaur acquisition... Staff Center. That's always pretty much the first thing you gotta go for, because you don't really want your staff revolting on you and leaving the pad paddocks open, letting your dinosaurs out, because that's bad for everybody. All Jurassic Parks are petting zoos where dinosaurs pet humans with their teeth. Not true. I need one of those little signs... You know, the counters, it has been X days since the last human was eaten by a dinosaur. I would have an impressively high count by now. It's been quite a while since a Tyrannosaurus ate anybody. Okay, so what do we need to do? Increase guest comfort to 50%. So I think we're going to do our typical thing. We're going to get the amenities built along the strip here. Uh, we need restrooms as well. So let's put one right at the entrance to the park. Actually, we'll put it closer to here. Right there. 
so it's more useful to people down further in the park. And we need a small amenity. Or drinks. Go with donuts. We'll do a fish tank. And we'll do a fountain. And a fossil display. And we'll see how that works out. Experience, Bob. I have never had a human attacked by a copy, let alone eaten by one. So, I am saying it. Copies, not a problem. That is a waffle, not a donut. What the hell are you doing? That's more like it. Thank you. Increase per minute profit from 830 in the hole to 50k. Oops. Medium electrified fence. That's another thing we need to work on. Oh, actually... Uh, that's what I was afraid of. Their area is just a tiny bit too small. That is perfect, Solenko. That's when I know I'm doing my job properly. I appreciate hearing that. Because that, as a streamer, is exactly what I want to hear. I think instead of making this further down this way and restricting my ability to do stuff behind here we're going to take a different approach this time we're going to extend out further this way and increase our area that way Oh. Um. I just did something very unwise. I forgot that this fence that I just put in does not actually exist yet, and I removed the fence that did exist. I don't recommend this. This is not recommended procedure for constructing enlargements to an enclosure. Let's just hope the fence gets built before the dinosaurs realize it doesn't exist. Okay, we're good. Oops. Thank you, Solenko. I really appreciate that. How are you doing this weekend? I hope you, and I hope everyone for that matter, is having an excellent start to your weekend. I guess it's already half over, isn't it? My Saturday, I feel like it's just beginning, so. For me, it's kind of just the start of the weekend. That looks like it's at an angle. I don't like it. Don't like that at all.
There we are. Now let's leave this one intact until this is all actually built. We were lucky last time. Three day weekend because the 1st of July. Ah, yes, happy Canada Day. I had a bit of a cookout with family. I hope you had a good one. There we go. There we go. That worked. They're content. Independence Day is on Monday. Yep. Income per minute, 72k. Very nice. So we've managed to get our first half star. Okay, increase per minute profit from 4,095 bucks to 50,000 bucks. Now we can take advantage of this early time before we have extensive stuff going on to get some more research done. I need to build a staff center as well. But um, just as a for instance, oh, I need a to right. Okay, I, f I keep forgetting that there are unlock requirements based on your star rating. So we'll start off by getting upgraded to our fencing. The workplace I work at is open Monday, yet I'm off. That's awesome, Bob. Okay, now... I'll wait till that's done. I should also get... Let's get our staff center built. I'm gonna put this in up here. Actually, no, you know what? That's gonna go in there. Yeah, this is a very beautiful game, Solenko. It's actually a surprisingly rough game for the computer to stream. That's why I got it late last year when it first came out, and we streamed it a few times, but then it kind of disappeared for a while and I didn't play it, and that's because I really could not effectively stream it with the old PC. It was only after I was able to upgrade the PC that I became able to effectively stream this thing. And even now with the new PC, you know, it streams fine, but I have to shut the game down when I take a break. Uh, speaking of, I should be doing that soon. I have to shut the game down when I take a break because running the game and streaming the game and running my clip show during the breaks is too much for the PC to handle. It can't do it. Or it, it can do it, but the clip show suffers horribly. So that's, you know, it's actually a really hefty kind of beefy game. Amenity coverage is low. We want to fix that. Okay. Oh, yes. Well, we have drinks. I guess they probably... Oh, no, we don't have drinks. We have food. I forgot to build a drink of amenity at all. Wow. I am just the worst. We're going to put in drinks over here. Ginger beer sounds lovely. We're going to leave it at that. We're going to have a fish tank. We're going to have a selfie spot. And we're going to have a fountain.
Ah, uh, you play it on Xbox. Very nice, Selenko. Oh, that's cool, Bob. Okay, guest comfort is up to 50%. We've got our drinks, we got our donuts. Let's get shopping. That was not supposed to be drinks. We'll stick with action figures. We'll do a fish tank, selfie spot, and... Yes. Maybe. Possibly. Probably. I'll have to check on these. How's our profits looking? 7,000, 2,000. Not really applicable yet. Nice, Mr. Soggy Roman. Oh, thank you, Solenko. Hopefully it works out okay. Profit 4,000. Okay, so not bad, not bad. So now we're up to 10,000. That's good. Drinks could be a little better. that for now and see how that shakes out. No, we have indeed started over again, Tagarong. Why are we losing cash? Ah. Selfie spot, and then... Mm. Vehicle under threat. Call me shocked. Okay, how about... Shelters. I have heard tell that shelters are important. And of course, restrooms are always popular.
Okay, we have one washroom that's not actually viable yet. Oh, shoot. Okay. We may have to hire more people already. Probably better to do it sooner rather than later. And that's not powered either. That's not good. I'm not going to worry about the unpowered bathroom. Wide path research available. Improved amenities. Excellent. Let's hire two new people. What do we have? We have Delgado, who's got one logistics, two sciencey stuff, and one welfare. But does faster research, which is not not bad. And we have a generalist. Wow, so three logistics, two flasks. And he's the best we've got in terms of veterinary stuff. So we need somebody who's really good at sciencey stuff, and we need somebody who's really good at logistics. And if we can get somebody that's fast at doing the expeditions. No, nobody's available like that. Okay, that's unfortunate. Alfie Wright's not bad for logistics. Yeah, you're hired, sir. For genetic... Oh, Lucas Flores. That hefty eight. I actually... I think I might leave it at that for now, though. And I'm going to hope to get somebody who's fast at expeditions. We'll see what we can do with just the one extra person. But yeah, the idea here, Tagarung, is we did start over right from the very beginning. We got all the fun dialogue with Dr. Ian Malcolm and all that. Um, we're going to try and beeline some of the things that we maybe left a little bit late. I'm giving up on the idea that we're going to be able to replace the Tyrannosaurs in any kind of a realistic manner shortly after their death. So that's not even on the plan at the moment. We'll worry about that later, if at all. Instead, we're going to just go for replacing these guys as fast as we can, the Pachycephalosaurs, because we know how dangerous it is to let them get lonely. And we're going to get the Carnotaurus and we're going to get the Majungasaurus, because we know we can do that pretty fast, too. The Carnotaurus is only a Tier 3 carnivore. And yet, for being a Tier 3 carnivore, they actually have a pretty powerful attraction so, they're pretty good. What about attaching cybernetics to your T-Rexes, like lasers? I like the way you're thinking, Anstara. I think we should maybe look into doing that. I'm just a little concerned. I worry a bit that if we attach lasers to our T-Rexes, the T-Rexes might use the lasers to escape more frequently. Or possibly blind people in the audience. Okay, so... What can I build now? Oh, I can do the... Okay, perfect. I can do the uh, substation. That is exactly what I need.
You just put like a regular laser pointer type on them, then release a large herd of cats in with them. That's genius. My god. You attract the dinosaur-loving people and the cat-loving people. I can't believe nobody thought of that before. The saber-toothed tigers? Yes. I mean, obviously. Come on. There we go. Alternative power distribution, exactly what we need. Insufficient skill, and now is when we hire that last scientist. You could retire from dinosaurs completely and focus on herding cats. <laughs> Gigantic t cats with gigantic teeth, yes. Real-life tigers also enjoy laser pointers. So that's perfect, Jim Racer. Whenever we get a new dinosaur, it comes in a cardboard box, and we give the cardboard box to the cats, and everyone wins. It's genius. Hey, J.H., how's it going? Cheaper research. This... I think this guy might be good for our logistics, except that he... He caps out at only five. And we already got our logistics guy, actually. It's, we're going to have to go with Lucas Flores with his... Uh, no, except I can't. If I go with him, he's only got the one, and... Maybe I can train somebody. Research required. Oh, no. What research is required? Maybe we can do that. Guess comfort is only 50%. Why is it only 29%? It's all coming together. Even the big cats, tigers, lion, etc. love cardboard boxes just like their house cat cousins. We can change the name of the park once we've got enough cats added into the mix. We'll call it Jurassic Park.
Okay, research is getting there. Staff is busy. I wish there was a way to make it refresh the available scientists. Jurassic is a solid option as well. Oh my god. Okay. Research is now done. You get some rest. You... We need to train up. What? You've got to be joking. Research requ- why? <clears throat> That's so annoying. I mean, we could get this guy and he'd be a pretty good dedicated doctor once we actually build a paleomedical facility, which we don't have at the moment. Um, okay, fine. We'll get Lucas Flores. Staff improvements one. Sci ah, scientist training up to level two. Now we can do it. Hey, we're up to 30,000 per minute in profit. So how are we doing here? We're a little falling a bit short on the adventure seeker side. Can't really do anything about that yet. Donuts also falling a little bit short there. And we've got some overcrowded guests. This one's actually a little high on adventure and falling short on nature. We love our nature guests more, so we're going to fix that. And this is falling a little short on general, and it's a bit over on luxury. There, that's a bit more balanced. Twenty nine percent comfort kind of bothers me. Oh, before we start any new research, I should be able to train up our other folks. So we're going to get you up there on genetics. You're going to train on logistics. Delgado. There we go. And we can't train you while you're working. Now, can we maybe by any chance happen to... No, we cannot. We need our last guy who's busy doing other stuff.
But maybe I don't want the guest attraction just yet. Let's work on amenities first. That's the real money maker. We'll get medium amenities and then see if we can't bump up our cash flow. More than half an hour ago, didn't I say that I needed to take a break soon? I should probably do that, shouldn't I? We're going to save over that piece of crap attempt at a park that we got to like 96%. It's so frustrating. <laughs> Two more. No! Damn it! I don't want more dinosaurs yet. Crap. Dinosaurs are in. No, 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 no. We're quitting. Dinosaurs are not inbound until I get back from break. So if you folks need to get up yourselves and uh, grab a snack or a drink, get some food, use the facilities, do what you got to do, you know, move around a little bit. This is a really excellent time. My breaks are typically about three and a half to five minutes long or thereabouts. So I'll meet you back here after I'm done with that. die already? Oh, you're the alpha. Okay. What? Wow. That's very nice. <laughs> wow. <laughs> They're not joking at all. Holy crap. <laughs> Did it. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Watch out. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? They are just absolutely shredding everything that I don't get myself. This, this, this is working for me. Oh my god. Now would be a real good time to prove me right, guys. Wow. That certainly looks like it's being held by Rebel Scum. wanted to take out the billboard that was not quite how I saw myself doing it. <laughs> Oh, how did I miss the donkey head? 
It's a donkey mask. I don't want to look like a jackass. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. So knock it off. <laughs> Mission. You have a rifle. Why do you run up to point blank range? You had a free pass right into their base. Hey. And I'm back. Thank you, JH. Thank you, Aunt Sarah. Hey, Watai, how's it going? Thank you, Jim. How are things going, Jim, by the way? I hope your streams have been going well. What have you been getting up to lately in Star Trek Online? I'm doing all right, Witai. I'm a little bummed because uh, the day started off, I was trying to get up early so that I could see off my family that was visiting, and I missed them by 11 minutes. <sighs> it's annoying, irritating, but there you go. Two more dinosaurs are inbound, and I need the park ready for their delivery. They'll also require suitable enclosures and Oh, God. So what's the uh, what's the latest addition to the men? The Menchisaurus. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was hoping I could do something different with Menchisaurus, but they kind of need this massive area out here, don't they? I mean, I could put in a bit of an enclosure over this way. With my recent character, I think we're actually at about the same place. I just finished the vault, and I think the episode after that haven't gotten to Coliseum yet. Okay. That's okay. What can you do, right? Uh, I just finished the vault. I think the episode after that, having gotten to Coliseum. Yeah. The Coliseum one, on the one hand, it's pretty annoying. On the other hand, I like that it's a bit different than the other stuff you tend to find. It, it's kind of refreshing in a way. All right, let's see here. Emergency, we're being raided. Alera, Eld, Jaduri, and all librarians report to hospitality stations immediately. Have library guards at the ready. What the heck? Crystal Dragon 22. Thank you so much for coming in with the raid. 
Welcome on in, folks. If you've never been here before, my name is Gordon McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a lot of story-driven games with excellent narrative and character development. I also play strategy games and sandboxy games and classic RPGs and classic adventure games. So if any of that sounds good, please feel free to hit the follow button. Folks that are already here, make sure you go and give Crystal Dragon a follow. He's been a good friend of the channel for the last little while now. Really, really good person. Uh, definitely go check out the stream, hit the follow button, and I can guarantee you, you will not regret having done so. How was your stream tonight, CD? It's so good to see you. What's going on? Insta-hosted. How's it going, Wiggles? I may have gotten stuck in YouTube limbo now, watching a vid to see if big cats like eating fish. Of course, I'm sure they do, JH. <laughs> like confetti, wow. Or like uh, shuriken, wow, Anstara. Your eye, oh no. How's it going, Shark? Uh, so, I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you in if you're new. Hopefully, it won't scare too many of you away. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, shoot. 69 form factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that... Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. It's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around these parts. Hung out on the Finland map for the second night and had myself a very successful hun hunt while having a few friends along for the ride. It was a great time. That is awesome, CD. That sounds fantastic. We are taking a third stab at Jurassic Park San Diego. It has not been going well so far, although I think the main menu, when you look at the different selections for Chaos Theory mode... This one is listed as having gotten to, I think it was 96% completion. So we're just that close. You? Besides us. A few herbivores. Simple to manage. There's nothing simple about managing dinosaurs. Okay, so... I am a little concerned at the moment. We're about to get a delivery of a rather large herbivore to the park. Mamanchisaurus is one of the biggest Brachiosaur types that exists. So... Um, hmm. We've still got two and a half minutes and then three and a half minutes. So three and a half minutes for Mamanchisaurus. Parasaurolophilus is pretty easy. 
Actually, I almost wonder. Oh, they actually, I don't think I have to do much for them. They can cohabitate with these guys, if I remember correctly. So I don't even have to worry about this enclosure yet. But I can't just stick the Momentisaurus in here. That's way too small a space for dinosaurs of that size. Same with either of these segments. They're effectively the same. So, oh, you know what I need? I just realized our guest comfort level is really low. And it's probably because I haven't actually built hotels yet. So we're going to get one of these guys in here. And we're going to get another one. Here. There we go. And then we can use this path along to the hotel and these ones here to fill in amenities and bunkers and bathrooms and all that good stuff. But we're going to need power over this way. Actually, how much power are we currently using? 15 of 60. Okay. Just pop that in there. They remember. They do, Wiggles. They do. Welcome on in. Hope everyone's had a fantastic weekend so far. Mine has been mostly good. I mean, honestly, if if you get right down to it, I don't really think my day has started officially, for the most part, until I start stream. So, my weekend... How long have I been on? My weekend hasn't even really been two hours yet. Okay, the hotels, they're going to take a bit. <sighs> okay. I don't have a lot of space out here yet until we can expand the park boundaries. Which really means this is my best available space for doing the Momentisaurus enclosure, isn't it? Mine's been pretty good. I actually went over to some friends for six hours and played board games. Oh, that sounds cool. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to build this backwards, as you do. We're going to build an observatory, or, you know, viewing gallery, whatever you want to call it. We're going to stick it right here. We're going to link up the path.
the heck? Okay, that just does not want to line up. I will force the issue. There we go. Now what we can do is probably end up taking more of this out. Every map in the game is effectively a hunting reserve, so woods and fields about covers it. Hmm. That makes sense. That's the focus of the game. They're not going to spend a lot of time on things that don't advance the gameplay. Okay, and, and we're going to have to knock out a bunch of this, so probably there. And that'll give us space for a large hotel and several amenities. We've got viewing galleries over there. I'll probably do... Mm -hmm. I don't have the viewing tower yet, unfortunately. I don't have the large hotel yet, but for now I can at least do a small hotel, which we will rip out and replace later. This is going to pull more people this direction as well, so we're going to need some other things, such as a restroom. Now, do we have... Yeah, we got medium amenities. Okay, perfect. So let's do medium drinks. We'll put that right... Seriously, is that not going to be covered by power? Well, fine. No feeding the dinosaurs kids. Remember, in Jurassic Park, you can be a good meal, too. That's true. No feeding the dinosaurs kids. Adults only. Maybe teenagers. And we'll do another medium one, but this one's food. We're going to squeeze this in as close as we can in hopes that maybe I can get a third, but I'm not going to hold my breath. Nope. 
that's not happening. Oh, that's cool, Crystal Dragon. Your guests are complaining about the lack of restrooms. Guests are just going to have to hold it until I get research so that I can distribute power better. Large hotel and one other node. We're okay with these guys. We're going to need a status check on them reasonably soon. Because I know they're going to want a type of food that isn't there already. Asset has been transported. Asset transported. There we go. Now, that's only the beginning of the enclosure here. We are going to need some gates in and out because, you know, actually being able to enter and leave is kind of necessary every now and then. So we'll have gates at either end. We're going to need some water in here. Just put a few little watering holes in. And... Mementisaurus, what are they going to want? I think they want Tall Leaf. If it turns out they actually don't, then I can adjust that, of course. Oh, and of course, we need ranger posts. Two will probably do it. So Ranger Team 1, you get to do double duty already. Actually, you know, I'm going to split up the duty, so to speak. There. Uh, how long might what be, CD? Okay, one's going there, and one's going there. And one's going there. Oh. Are we really getting three? We can't be getting three. Things are going as planned. Or so it appears. But InGen needs more samples, so... 
We're returning to traditional paleontology. A simpler time, when the science was digging bones out of the ground instead of bringing them to life. I've given Ms. Halford the requirements. We've got to increase guest count. Of course. Oh, of course. And then build an expedition center so we can send out teams to get new genome samples, which will give us more species diversity. That's sensible, I guess. <laughs> this should help our park rating, which we want to increase. Well, that's uh, uh, ambitious. And that should lead to greater profits. <laughs> so predictable. See, you know, there's some patterns in the universe that defy the laws of chaos by being so obvious. And the so-called bottom line is one of the shining stars. That's what caused the original park to collapse, hubris and greed. Your concern is noted, Dr. Malcolm, but InGen needs to recover its losses, and this park is helping that cause. We've learned from our mistakes. I fear that what you've learned is that, uh, like a phoenix, InGen has risen from the ashes of disaster which means you think you can do so again. Park rating almost one and a half. <clears throat> 200,000 income per minute. Okay, how are these guys? They are missing ground nut. We can fix that. They're content. These guys are still content. Everybody looks happy. He did, Wiggles. Yes, he did. So did Bryce Dallas Howard. Might as well put a gate in there, too, I guess. They spared no expense, as a uh, famous inventor once said. Wow, you're kidding me. I nailed it right off the bat. Holy crap. That's awesome. I can't help but feel like Dennis was a massive spared expense. Okay, well... An unknown massive spared expense at the time, though. I mean... They really didn't have the ability to predict what was going to happen. Unless, you know, maybe if they'd listened to Dr. Malcolm, possibly. Uh, research complete carnivores 2. That is music to my ears, because we need Carnivores 3 stat, but we need 2.5 stars for that crap. Okay. Well. Let's get the... Uh, yeah, maybe not the park tour right away. We'll get the guest attraction first. There. And... Infrastructure, no. Oh, oh, actually there were some I could do. I can do this one. Uh... 
Okay, so we've basically got three enclosures up and running. We've got this monster one over here. We've got this one, and we've got this one. We have the entire rest of the park we can build out and build up. But I would like to try to keep things as confined as I can. Yeah, this one maybe notwithstanding so much. Because I don't want to waste money. That's one of the things that I think kills me later on, is just not having money and having to wait such long times to get anything done. I've been playing Far Lone Sales, pretty good side scroller, similar to Journey with a few more puzzles. Oh, I'm already familiar with Far Lone Sales. Post the link if you'd like, though. Uh, we, you know, we've seen links to it before in the Discord, and so it won't be new, but it might refresh people's memory. I've got that and the follow up already wish listed. It looks good. I'm not terribly keen on side scrollers myself but it can work for me potentially depending on how things go okay can we do no staff are busy but we hit our Park rating requirement for that one, so that's good. Conf ah, there we go. Temperate skins. Staff are still busy, but they're almost done. Deity, it's going pretty good. How are you doing this evening? I hope your weekend's off to a good start. I hope everyone's off to a good start with their weekends. I hope my fellow Canadians have had a fantastic Canada Day. And I hope our neighbors to the south have as good a 4th of July as possible given the current circumstances in your country. Well, the sabotage, no, but there was an awful lot of talk about him being overworked in the massive amount of bugs he was trying to juggle. Hiring two or three other programmers to help with things seems like it makes sense, at least for the semantic purpose of examining spared no expense. That's fi That's fair, Crispy13. I'd like to imagine, though, and this is not at all supported by the movie or the books, uh, which I suppose probably makes sense because the book was written in the mid-'80s, I like to imagine that he was actually part of a programming team, but then programming teams, they really weren't all that terribly common back then. <laughs> so I imagine that would probably be a little bit different if it were written today. In the movie, we do know he felt underpaid. Yes, that's true. That is very true. I need to rewatch Jurassic Park again. I'm going to do that sometime over this weekend, I think. I don't remember from the book. I just read it like four months ago, and I'm already forgetting pieces. Yeah. It's a great book, though. Very different from the movie in a lot of respects. Like, Ian Malcolm's character is very different in the book than it is in the movie. Obviously, the movie version is the best version, but he was still a pretty cool dude in the books as well. Okay, let's see... Increase any genome. I guess we should get a paleomedical facility. I'm going to define my buildable areas a little better as well. So we're going to 
yeah, we're going to come across like this and go straight across here and everything north of this path is going to be that's facility stuff. So we can do paleo medical and expeditions and more staff centers and we can cross down below this line as well, but I want to save a lot of this for you know, tour stuff and amenities and attractions and all that kind of stuff. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we may have to use some space below the line. I forgot how big some of these damn things are. And Expedition Center. Yep, so much for my generous allotment of land. Wow. Okay. Find that a book will generally outrank the movie 9 out of 10 times. Well, it, it really depends. I think Jurassic Park and The Lord of the Rings. What? Emergency. We're being raided. Calera, Eld, Juduri, and all librarians report to hospitality stations immediately. Have library guards at the ready. What the heck? Mo Wonders, it's so good to see you. How are you doing tonight, sir? Welcome on in, everyone, guys. If you don't know Mo Wonders, he's an amazing streamer. He's a longtime friend of the channel. We know him, of course, from a Tea with Mandy's channel, where he's one of the mods. He's also one of, well, he's the head mod. Uh, he's also a fantastic streamer in his own right. We've rated him before. He's rated us before. He's a wonderful guy. Go check him out. Go follow him. You'll love his content. He's super great and super cozy as you would expect and uh so make sure you go do that um if you're here for the very first time welcome on in my name is gord mcleod i'm a variety streamer here on twitch i play a lot of single player story driven games with excellent narrative and character development as well as strategy games and sandboxy games and classic rpgs and adventure games so if any of that sounds like it's up your alley then make sure you hit the follow button and i do have a little bit of a video that i'm going to play for you in just a moment hopefully it won't scare any of you away Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Form factor aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no crap. Whoa, yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that let's go for it. Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. May still be coming, actually. Attention, please. We have a new follower in the library. Hell, that's your cue. Let's welcome the problem. Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> I didn't. There you go. That's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around these parts. Thank you so much, Mo. How was your stream? What were you up to this evening? Did we... Uh, let me get you a shout out real quick. There we go. Oh, Elden Ring. How is Elden Ring treating you? Yeah, that's a new version of the uh, video. Oh, and if I may have your attention for a moment, we would like to greet our newest follower. Eld will seat you, or you can find a spot for yourself if you wish. Thank you so much for the follows. I did see the follow come in during the video, so thank you very much for that, and thank you as well. Uh, I really appreciate it. Welcome on into the library family. I've been very slowly working my way through Elden Ring for months now. Yeah, I can imagine. That looks like a massive, huge game. I hope you're having fun with it, though. Looks like something that's going to take a bit. Injury treatment upgrades. Oh, actually, I don't really... I don't particularly need that one. Uh, okay, let's see. Now that we have this thing, let's add some tasks here. We want to assign you there. And there. And there. And there. So now we've got medical coverage for all of our dinos. Oh, and, um, where's our chopper? Yeah, we need to assign you to the other two new posts. This is our third attempt at the Chaos Theory mode version, like the scenario for Jurassic Park San Diego. The concept, for those of you not super familiar with this game, is uh, the Chaos Theory mode is a game mode that you play in Jurassic World Evolution 2 where it sends you back into the movies to do what-if scenarios. Like, what if you took Jurassic Park from the very first movie and you made it successful? In this case, this is the second movie. And it's not something you really saw a lot of in the second movie, but the idea was that in the second movie they had referenced Jurassic Park San Diego, a project that they shut down. This scenario is, what if they hadn't shut it down? Would you be able to actually make it work? So, we're building a park not far from the city of San Diego, which is just over that way. Kind of across this bridge over here that you can barely see through the fog. So, we're bringing dinosaurs and T-Rexes and all that fun stuff. And other dinosaurs and uh, trying to see if we can make this park work. And it is fiendishly difficult so far. Hate to raid and run, but need to get some food. No problem, Mo. You do what you gotta do. How's it going, Nabby? It's good to see you. Raise the desk? Yes. Okay, I can do that. Uh, actually, it's just about time for me to take another break. So, I hate to get a raid and then suddenly go on break like that, but, well, um, I'll play for a few minutes, then I'll take a break. How's that? That seems like a decent compromise. So, right now, we're trying to fulfill these requirements, and I've gotten so close to finishing this freaking map, but it's really challenging, because dinosaurs, eventually, they, they do have lifespans, and they do start to die off, and as soon as they start to die off, it brings a lot of financial difficulties. And if you're not prepared for it, which I have not been traditionally, things can escalate pretty fast. So, let's see. What kind of dinosaurs do we have available to us that we can go and recover from the sands of time? Pachyrhinosaurus. Struthiomimus. That's usually an easy one. I, want, I think maybe I would like to focus on things that have a little bit more wow factor, though. Triceratops is usually not too bad. 
Struthiomimus. I've never done Dilos in this scenario. Maybe... Maybe that's something I should do. I mean, they're kind of a nightmare, let's be honest. I've never done raptors either. Gonna do raptors. We're gonna switch things up a bit. We're gonna turn this into a raptor cage. Because what could possibly go wrong? I'll set a timer. Nice try, Mr. Soggy Roman. I don't read on autopilot. So if we're going to do that, let's get the uh, fencing finished off. Oh, thank you, Bill. Thank you, Bill. Ugh. Okay. Ugh, I could really use the next stretch. I appreciate that. And Mr. Soggy Ramen, I will raise the desk when I get back from break. Or rather, I will get back from break and the desk will have been raised at that point. Okay, so the fencing there is done. I guess this means I'm going to have to deal with power, huh? I really would love to get the alternative power distribution done. Can I... Mm, not really. Okay. I'm going to put one here. I guess I'll finally deal with this one. Resupply this. That's going to be expensive. How is our power generation doing? We've still got unused power. That's good news. If I was going to make a dino park, I would put the carnivores in the center with herbivores walling them in. Well, that's essentially what we've got here, and if we've got more Carnos out here, we do eventually have the potential to put more herbivores out here. So that's kind of what I'm doing. You need a rest, sir. Do we have a new crop? Oh, oh, we have a new crop of people. Excellent. Fresh from the ground, ready to be picked. Faster extraction. Cheaper research. Cheaper expeditions, that's not bad. I would rather have faster expeditions, though. I think we're gonna pass on these folk for now. We don't 
desperately need new people. Okay, now, let me see here. Yeah, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to delete that and I'm going to delete that. And we're going to have to hope like heck this leaves us enough space. But we're going to put in a view box right there. Another one right there. There we go. And power will take care of itself once the fences are built. So it is, Mr. Soggy Roman. It's actually been about eight minutes. I have a clock right in front of me. There, perfect. So just one more moment and I will take a break. So I don't remember a lot about what raptors need in terms of their enclosure requirements, but we'll get it set up good. In the meantime, I'm just going to save this real quick because I have to quit the game every time I take a break. Otherwise, my clip show that I run during the break doesn't behave so well. This is a surprisingly graphically heavy, like, a, it's a processor-intensive game. So, I'm going to quit out. And I will be back in just a few minutes, folks. My breaks are typically about three and a half to five minutes in length. If you need to get up, grab yourself a snack or some food, get a drink, use the facilities, whatever you got to do. Just get up and stretch, anything at all. This is a really good opportunity to do it, and I'll meet you back here when I'm done. Oh my god! <laughs> wow. Oh my god, that was amazing. See, I'm not the only one. The NCPD does it too. Oh, you... Close call. 
I'm coming up right on a shrine. That's really handy. Ah, oh my. <laughs> wow. Oh, crap. Uh, okay. Hang on a second here. That was not a sniper shot. Shall pass. Ah, a red herring. Pass. going right into the water. This way. Oh. Nice move. Up. That's camera mode. That's not at all what I wanted. Although Well, that was not what I wanted, but it worked out pretty well. What? I'm sure this is nothing to be concerned about at all. Whoa! <laughs> Let's maybe not jump down quite that far. Hey, maybe you can use your saber to make another bridge. What an idea. That's wacky. Who to thunk? Great, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> wow. What are you doing up there? Oh, you're trying to let's see what happens when he tries to light it. <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing. <laughs> I didn't know that was what they trapped it with. <laughs> oh 
Oh, you are so lucky. And holy crap, that right golf is very nice. <laughs> wow. <laughs> They're not joking at all. Holy crap. <laughs> What the hell? Oh my god. <laughs> what is this gang up on Gordonite? Mind you, I haven't tried putting two in a single enclosure yet. What in the world? This okay, I'm back. Just a moment and we'll get the game loaded up again. Here we go. Thank you, Mad. Thank you, JH. Thank you, Patriotic. Thank you, Ed Sarah. Hey, Hammer. Thank you, Crispy. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, everybody. Oh. Good call. I did forget. Okay. Love the away clips. That was a great taste of you. Thank you, Wiggles. It's been a very popular thing since I introduced it. And I'm delighted that it makes... Well, it doesn't make, but it encourages people to clip a lot more, too, so... That's always fun. Oh, I just thought of something. If I make this a raptor enclosure, that kind of puts a bit of a damper on my traditional running the park tour through here and into here and into here and into here and out here. Are people really going to want to go live into a raptor enclosure? I think that might be a little. It's kind of something I'd like to try, but maybe in sandbox mode, not in this mode. <laughs> I wonder how they would react to it. <laughs> Just go counterclockwise, that way they see the whole tour before being eaten. So simple, but yeah, I know, I love the Dino West thing. I like to think of it as a Linux distro. One point nine. I guess we need to do some more stuff, huh? Let's take a look at our amenities. We have to keep on top of that. Okay, so food. People are complaining about a lack of food, are they? Let's do a medium food amenity by the new hotel. We're going to put that right... there. $20. 
21, 4, 44, 31. So these two are the highest, green and yellow. There's nothing that's both green and yellow. So we're going to stick with cheap burgers. We'll do a fish tank. We'll do a fountain. There's a fair amount of general interest. So we'll do an ice cream machine. Oh my god, that really... Oh, oh, it's because the cheap burgers really appeal. Maybe... Hmm. Okay, well, we'll do the ice cream machine and we'll see how that goes. We'll have to check in on that after it's built. <clears throat> Just eat those in front of the raptors while they consider eating you? Yes, precisely. I'm glad you get it. Now, how's our shelter coverage? Okay, we could use one right in here, and that's the perfect amount of space, too. Nice. Food coverage is looking pretty good. Could maybe use a small one over here, and we definitely need something by the other hotel as well. Okay, so big demand from these two. Again, I don't think there's anything that's both green and yellow. We'll do gourmet steaks on this one. And this time we'll do a fossil display and a fountain. And a play area. Oh, okay. We need a little bit more. We might not need the play area. No, we don't. We'll do a fish tank, and that's actually all we needed. Okay, perfect. Ah, uh, we're still falling short on the green. So, how about a fossil display? Can we do without that? No. Okay. Thirty-two thousand profit. Not bad. That's pretty good. I'll take it. That one's losing money. I think it's the name that makes the difference. Ooh. Hey. Expedition done. Ah, right. Okay, so that takes care of our food needs, I think. Let's double check. Yeah, there's a little bit here, but they can deal with that for now. That's food dramatically improved. How about drink coverage? drinks we could use something in this area too so let's do another medium drink dispensary eh, we'll put this right by the hotel Holy luxury demand, 74%? I've never seen it that high on anything. Wow. 
Hey, Burnt, how's it going? It's good to see you. I hope you've had an excellent weekend so far. I hope everyone's had a really good weekend so far. Happy belated Canada Day to any of my fellow Canadians out there and to all my American friends. I really hope you have the best July 4th that you can possibly have under the circumstances. Just got back from getting food and a snack while you were on break. What did I miss? You are here just in time to see me work on our amenity coverage. So we're working on increasing profits because I really do feel lack of money is what's really sabotaged us in the past. So let's see. We definitely need to go with fla oh, flavored lattes. Yes. We're going to do flavored lattes and we're going to put in a hefty aquarium and a fountain and a fish tank and TVs. Oh, it'll be different every time, Wiggles. It'll be different every time. That's not actually one video that plays. I've got a randomizer set up that goes through a collection of some 500 some odd clips so far. I'm actually behind on adding more, honestly. Uh, and it just randomly plays stuff. So I have no idea what you saw while I was away. Oh, that looks a lot more reasonable. Okay. We can probably take some stuff away. We might not need the aquarium. Yeah, we need the aquarium. But we might not need the aquarium and the fish tank. There we go. Oh, you gathered that. Excellent. Okay. Well, some fun things you might want to know about clipping. I do regularly try to add new clips to the rotation. And we even have a chat command. If you type exclamation point clip, you can easily clip whatever happened in the last 30 seconds. And you don't even have to go to the clip interface. It'll just clip it for you. It gives you a lot less control than if you clip it the traditional way. But uh, if you just see something and you want to make sure that it gets hit, then that's fine. Also, you might notice that in my overlay here, I do have a time and date stamp. That's not just there for the sake of being there. That actually helps me out immensely when it comes to clips. Because if somebody does do a clip really hastily and, you know, maybe they left a few seconds out that I wish they had gotten just a little bit more or they, they clip something and, you know, a full half of it is gone or something like that. And I look at the clip after the fact and I think, oh, man, if only that could have been a really great clip. The fact that it's time stamped means that it's virtually effortless for me to go back into the VOD and reclip it and get exactly the stuff that you wanted me to catch. And it's really, really easy. So you can definitely nail stuff. And even just clip stuff that you're not quite getting. And there's a very good chance that it'll end up getting caught anyway. Because I'll be able to go back and re-get it. He says as we rotate around this map. I know, I know. I do that a lot. It's just I loved getting an overview and it kind of helps me sort of mentally plan out what we're doing, even if it's subconscious. So, okay, so that's food. How's drinks? Oh, that's burgers. How's drinks? Drinks are looking pretty good. We could use something over there, but it's not desperate yet. How about shopping? Oh my god. Okay. We have to do something about shopping. My god, people want to shop. Wow. Uh, let's see if we can maybe squeeze in a small shopping venue here. I don't think that's going to work. No. Nope. Not a chance. Okay. That's unfortunate. 
Never mind that an aerial view of your park looks badass. I appreciate that. Okay. Uh, in order to fix this, I think what we're going to need to do... Have we... We've not done all that. Let's do that. We'll just get that last one done. Oh, Flores, you need a break. We'll get that fossil extracted. We'll send Flores on break. And I want to see if I can... I probably can't because I just put two scientists to work on various things. But... Um, let's see what the potential is for... Damn it. Okay, staff busy. All's not lost. We might still be able to do it. Let's see what our current crop of potential employees is looking like. Altruistic salary, cheaper research, faster extraction. Ah, oh, Mr. Stephen Murphy. Cheaper expeditions. Oh, cheaper. Oh, he's really good at logistics too, though. I prefer faster expeditions, but cheaper expeditions might not be the worst thing ever. See, cheaper expeditions and a really high cap on logistics, that's actually, you're looking pretty tempting there, buddy. Let's get you in there. Okay, so we're going to hire Murphy. Kind of like sliding around the basin satisfactory. Well, running around the basin satisfactory, not doing anything. I actually do that a lot too, Mr. Soggy Ramen. You should freaking, you should see my off-stream basin satisfactory. I'm thinking of taking over the entire desert lake and just doing a massive pile of... Um, what do you call them? The, uh, yeah, the, the conveyor belts that just rotate around the lake endlessly, having materials added to them and taking off where they're needed and just sort of developing the entire area. I'll work for cheap. Feed me and I'm good, yes. Okay, so we got that. We did that. How's about now? Can we do the research now? Because I really want the repeater substation, please. Thank you. I am really tired of all these wires all over the frickin' park. They need to be gone, please, and thank you. Now, we were worrying about shopping. Ah, yes, that's what got me onto doing that research. Because I think what we need to do is demolish this restroom, maybe move that over here. We need to replace this with a large hotel, so we have to research that too. This is going to have to move inside the pen. That's not a problem. That'll just... It won't actually move, though. We'll replace it with a wireless one. Or, I say wireless. It looks wireless. It's probably underground cables, but that's fine. Uh, we'll put a new thing under here and that'll be good and then I'll have room to build the large hotel over here that'll give us more space here we can build a shopping amenity in here and then we can probably fit a bunker and a bathroom in between somewhere if all goes well because we've got a lot of dead space over here where I didn't lay things out very well so we'll see please repeat you need a what station <laughs> <laughs> okay, so oh, we're not paused. Good. Now, let me see. Do we have attractions yet? Guess ah, oh, we do. Okay. That's excellent news. We're going to build our first attraction over here where, near where the velociraptors are going to go. And that's going to need power. This will be temporary, of course.
Okay, how... Oh, I just realized we have not built a hatchery. Like, we're going to do that up here this time. That's going to throw me into complete chaos, because I'm not used to doing it that way, but that's okay. What's the worst that can happen? I need... Oh, wow, okay. Apparently I need to research that first. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll turn... Ah, perfect. Okay. Alternative power distribution. Ugh. That's so good. All right, so what we want to do is build a bunch of these. We're going to put this right up against this fence on the inside. And then we need to put these around the area. Where was that going? Right there. Okay, so they. I have to keep them within range of each other. Otherwise, they disconnect. So I'll put that right up there. 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 Oh, and this one here, that's our power substation, so we'll be able to redo these cables once these all come online. Why is San Diego so hard? Because it's four out of five diamonds. <laughs> Which means, yes, there are several uh, scenarios that are actually even harder than this one. Luckily... The next one, based on Jurassic Park 3, is only three diamonds out of five, not four. So it will get a little bit of a reprieve. But then we head to Jurassic World, and that's going to be a five-star one. And then Fallen Kingdom is four diamonds, and Dominion is five diamonds again. So that's going to be fun. Yeah, I'm just going to let that go for the time being, and we'll build that out and see how it goes. <clears throat> Alright, so now we should be able to disconnect a lot of this crap. And then we'll be able to take stock and see what needs power, because power has been interrupted all over the place. So if we demolish that, that kills power in a lot of spots. We can get rid of that. Get rid of that. 
And that. Now, if it looks like everything is broken, it's not to worry just yet. Because you do need a place for the power to begin. And what that means is we've got our power station and we've got a wireless node. And the node should be in range of lots of other nodes. But we do need a small power relay to get power to the wireless network in the first place. So if I build that and connect that in, not everything will have power but a lot of stuff will re be restored. Restroom coverage low. Okay, what the heck? Why are you not linked? Did I not build a... Blech. Power's hard sometimes. Or did I maybe accidentally destroy something I shouldn't have? Looks like I'm missing one. That's okay. Now it's very visible where I need to improve coverage. Come on, finish. There we go. I'm not bad. Only two things are without power. So if I put another one of these inside here, that'll take care of... Oh, <laughs> I didn't even need to. That's just another station. Substation, rather. So we got that. And now... That should be all I need. Shocking. Wow. Thank you, Ebert. I'm going to finish this just because I think you did another hydrate that maybe I missed. There we go. Plus 77% on last month. Excellent. Oh, I got them both? Excellent. I remembered seeing it. I didn't remember if I actually did it or not. Alright, so how are we looking on... Oh, we don't have the... We have to research the hatchery. Let's maybe do that. That's kind of important. Oh, Delgado, you need a break. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> That's becoming a habit. Actually, maybe I ought to look. Positive influence. Okay, so we do have a new crop of potential recruits here. Oh, another cheaper expeditions. I mean, that's not the worst thing in the world. Faster extraction. Oh my god, he's got a hefty nine in logistics. Ms. Yamamoto here, looking pretty good on the welfare front, and fast at them too. Ten genetics? Woo. Oh, 
Oh, Bill, did I get your hydrate? Hang on. If I missed that, I apologize. That one, that's a Yeti mug, so it's still pretty hot. We have a lot of good genetics candidates. I really need faster expeditions, though. Hydration station, yes. That's the official name for our Jurassic Park and or Jurassic World drink venues. Hydration stations. Hatchery. Hatchery upgrades one. We're definitely going to do that. Two point one of two point five. We're almost ready to go for Carnivores three, which will allow us to do the Carnotaurus and hopefully the Majungasaurus. Or Majungasaurus. I'm not sure how that's pronounced. These guys are doing pretty okay. Now, who do these guys deal well with cohabitating alongside? So they can do Hadrosaurus and Pachycephalosaurus, so I could move them over here, potentially. Ornithomimosaurus. Oh, man. I wonder if I could get away with moving all of the occupants of this one in here. Hmm. Yep, that's what these guys are known for. They have the longest necks of all the Brachiosaur types that we're aware of. It's real nasty when they get strep throat. Okay, increase any genome to 75%, so we have not... Oop, whoa. I think I hit something I didn't want to. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's deactivate that. Is anything low on power? And we should probably check. Un oh, unused power zero. Okay, so we need another power plant is what that means Probably takes them a solid five minutes to throw up. Wow. I mean, you're probably not wrong. Having to hold your breath while your cut is swallowed. Ah, uh, they might be like us, though. We've got a windpipe that separates early on, so maybe they don't have to actually do that. They could have multiple passages through the neck.
Oh, you based it off giraffe knowledge. Do they actually have to do that, Wiggles? Because if so, that's fascinating. Unused power, 60, no, or none. Uh, this one, unused power, 41. Okay, so we should be good. Uh, now, the next thing we need to do, I think I've still got stuff that's running off this thing. Which is not the greatest. We want to avoid that whenever possible. So, we need more of these transmitters. So, we're going to put one... Right here. Should be good. And... That should render this obsolete. Well, not obsolete, but it will actually return it to its original... You know, it's, an, it's a backup generator rather than the primary source of power for these buildings. Is what that should do. Unused power, 32. Unused power, zero. Good. So everything should be running off of these power stations. In theory. How's that looking? Unused power, 26. Okay, so clearly I need more. Oh, yeah, that whole area is disconnected from the new grid that I'm setting up, isn't it? Um, let's go towards the back here. Okay, they seem to be okay without this. Jay, welcome on in. I hope we've got this. We're going a little bit leaner and meaner so far. I've only got dinos in here and in here and in here so far. We're not using these. I'm about to use these for Velociraptors, so pray for me. Um, once we actually, you know, get the viable genome thing going, which we should work on doing now. Let's send out the next expedition. Now that we've got power sorted out, I think we're fully off of the backup generators. Power usage, zero. Perfect. That's what I want to see. <clears throat> 
so we can go back to looking at coverage and already we've got massive empty zones in here we really need a shelter so we'll do the same thing we did on the other side Well, we can hope that it's smart, at least. <laughs> I don't want to get ahead of myself and start congratulating myself on a job well done, only to find out that I've left myself open to the worst problems imaginable. Bathroom coverage. Ooh. We could use more. I just realized I'm kind of boxing myself in here building stuff. I mean, I can move that. That's not a big deal, but I'm going to want to upgrade these to large hotels. Whoops. Guests want more shopping amenities. Okay, well... How's our coverage looking? Dismal. Actually, that's pretty horrible. Sick animals can be a recipe for disaster. If you get a report of sickness in the park, deal with it as quickly as possible to cut the risk of viral transmission. Oh, we're going to need to upgrade this. this. These are small shops. We probably want bigger shops. Avian pox. Oh, we have a few examples of it. Take a photo of a dinosaur with the disease. Okay. Which I can't pronounce to save my own life. Oh, they were all behind me? Damn it. <laughs> there we go. I think it's more a response to having something that's sick, but also telling me what I need to know to be able to do it, just in case the interface itself isn't clear enough yet. Quarantine all dinosaurs with avian pox for 60 seconds. Wait, is that not... Did I not... Oh my god. I swear... Okay, it's facing this way. We want these guys by that fence. Did we do it? Did we get the thing? Okay. 
Okay. Surely that must count, right? <clears throat> oh, okay. Okay, so I'm trying to take photos, and uh, I made a little bit of money doing it, but that's that's fine. Apparently, this one. Prerequisite node, avian pox. Quarantine all dinosaurs with avian pox. Shoot, there's five of them. Okay, well. This is our hideously ugly quarantine zone. Now, what do we have over here? Yes, you can name dinos, actually. Have a good rest of your night, Aberrant. Have a good rest, and I'll catch you again soon. Okay, so they're like ground leaf... And these guys, they like ground nut. It does, CD. That's how we've had a few named dinos in the past. You can definitely do that. And it doesn't have to be your name. It can be a name of your choosing, subject to my veto, of course. What do you mean, no power? Advanced amenities, excellent. Ceratopsids 2. Ah. Okay, now I think we might need to build another hospital just so that I've got somebody to make sure we can check on this. So let's do a paleomedical facility right over here. Oof, that's actually... Maybe over here is better.
Any dino of your choice. I don't have very many carnivores yet, though. I mean, we've got the two Rexes and we've got eight Compies and that's it. Now, granted, I think that means we've got ten and that actually means there's probably almost as many meat. Oh my god, it's spreading so fast. Holy crap, there's seven of them now. Uh, okay. Wow. Would you like to be one of the Rexes? I'll give you the one with the longer expected life span, whatever that might be. Year 66. I'm going to wait until they're a little less intermingled. Out of the way, guys. You're not conjoined twins here. What the heck? 66. Oh, never mind. They both have identical expected lifespans. So do you want the more brownish one, reddish brown, or the more greenish one? Green, you got it. And is this going to be Crystal Dragon? It's not set in stone if you prefer a little something different or a different name entirely or no 22 on it or whatever. We can edit that. Green is your favorite color? Okay. Ah, that's cool. Okay. And we're still early in this playthrough, so... It looks like they've still got most of their expected life span ahead of them. Now, that doesn't guarantee they're going to reach it. We've seen T-Rexes live past 100, but there's no guarantee they'll actually even reach that 66. That's just, you know, it's an expected lifespan, not a guaranteed lifespan. You're more orange. Nice. <laughs> you know, at this rate, Oh, oh, viable genome. Excellent. Okay. At this rate, I think I could just wait until every single dinosaur in this pen is infected, and then they would be quarantined by default, which may, in fact, end up being... How many do we have in here? Population 5. Population 5. I think there's only one uninfected dinosaur left, and there's nobody near them. I honestly think that might be my only real course of action. Let's pin that one. What are these units of time, though? A lifespan of 100, surely not years. Dr. Malcolm would actually have to be immortal. We were talking about that at length the other day on Stara, and they do not specify, because time in these games is pretty much inherently wonky. I mean, we have pay rates that are scaled to the minute. We have a day-night cycle that's clearly not an actual real life day night cycle there's just all kinds of weirdness going on okay I think that's the only healthy one.
Building, yeah, building is way faster than real life. Plus, we've had the T-Rexes last for multiple streams, and the streams are typically close to five hours in length. So, it can't be minutes. It's almost like one unit is closer to two or three minutes or something like that. You've just gotten the lazy builders in unions. Wow. Okay, there we go. They're all quarantined now. Unless these guys are too close, but hopefully they're not. Nobody over here is sick. That's good. 40... Okay, it's counting down again. The Fed is just back and forth here all the time. And we're done. We can now research the stuff. Oh, we got... Wait, we have it? Nice. That means they should go and automatically cure them all. Hopefully. In fact, but only to say good night. Have a good night, Bob. Catch you again soon. Oh my god, what happened to the terrain here? These poor dinosaurs, they're being sniped at from all sides. There we go.
Okay, increase any genome to 75%. We are at 61%. I would like that to be higher before I go and... Oh, what the... Ah, vehicle fuel. There we go. Okay, so we're done the site in Mongolia. Let's go to the Chinese Velociraptor site. Don't worry, it's for your own good, says Sniping Doctor with Vaccine. Yes, it is a, for a good reason, though. All right, guys, it is almost three o'clock. And now that the avian pox has been dealt with, I think we're going to save this. I'm going to take a break, probably my last of the evening. And I will be back in just a few minutes. So if you guys need to get up yourselves, grab a snack, get a drink, use the facilities, do any of that good stuff. This is a really good opportunity to do it. My breaks are usually about three and a half to five minutes or thereabouts, so I'll meet you back here after that. Wait, how am I earning trophies? What the heck? I should already have gotten that. I don't think I've ever had this happen before. getting a credit. Oh, whoa! Well, that happened. Mass Effect is much bigger than just Shepard. God, the charging of the boar. Oh, oh. First, <laughs> you'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way. Assuming you're as much a hunter gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Smilberg. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't <laughs> let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. Helping the chef is the greatest of causes. It's true. It's true. I forgot the grease is flammable. They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Oh my god. Yeah, now that's <laughs> music. <laughs> hey. Um, this is maybe not the best crap. 
Oh god, when was the last save? This could be really bad. <laughs> Getting there. Two thirds. Wait, who just did. I got him? Wow. That's amazing. Maybe archery doesn't completely suck after all. I'm referring to is a disagreement between two criminals, Greedo and Han Solo. Blasters were involved, and only one of them walked away from the scene. We've identified a number of witnesses to the scene still in Moss Eisley. Go gather statements from all of them to establish who shot first, Greedo or Solo. I love this so much. Okay, I'm back. That was seriously one of my favorite parts of the entire Lego Skywalker Saga game. Thank you, Mad. Thank you, Jage. So who shot first? Well, we conducted a very thorough investigation, but unfortunately, after interrogating every single witness that we could find, the result was split. Half of them said that Solo shot first, the other half said that Greedo shot first. So the case remains unsolved, I'm afraid. It's been a while since we worked on that one. We haven't done it since the charity month-long St. Jude event in May. So we haven't touched it throughout all of June and into July. I should probably play that again, just if for no other reason than to unlock all of the really huge ships that I had locked behind donation gates so that we can get, you know, the Doom Ball 3 and the Death Star 1 and the Trade Federation battleship and all of that kind of stuff and just go through those real quick. Maybe devote one stream to just looking at all of the big capital ships you can get and uh, just actually do that because I really wanted to explore those. We only ever unlocked the one ship, which was awesome. It was an amazing ship. We got the Executor, which is Darth Vader's Star Destroyer, but we never got the other ones. Okay, okay, it's 2022, Disney Plus is a thing, hear me out, build your own Star Wars cuts, where there's a massive list of changes throughout the years, and you pick and choose which ones you want to watch. Disney Plus only gives you the latest versions of the films, though, you don't get the original ones unless you've got them yourself. Thank you, CD, I appreciate that. Yeah, I was, I, I was honestly completely flabbergasted at how incredibly well the St. Jude event went this year. That was really, really great. This is the best community on Twitch, I swear. Okay, what are we waiting on? We have an expedition out to China to get more Velociraptor DNA. Because we still need more carnivores. What do we have in this area? We've got uh, we've got the stuff for this hotel. So we've got flavored lattes. We've got Velosa burgers. 
People are complaining about a lack of shopping amenities, though. How's shopping looking? Okay, it's pretty dismal in many places. Can I put a store... Oh, God, this is actually really poorly implemented. And I'm not talking about the developers of the game. I'm talking about me. Okay, we'll have to put it here. That's fine. Okay, so we have... Oh my god, look at the... Why is luxury such in demand? That It's so high. 53%. Even the nature stuff isn't very high. It's like all the way down here with this. That's crazy town. But action figures is still a good match. So we'll go with action figures. Man, it's always luxury and nature that are paired together for some reason. So we just mostly need luxury, so... We'll do the water feature just in case this is misrepresenting because it's still very new. We'll do a sunglasses stand to boost it a little higher. And we'll do some extra shelving for the general interest folk. At the moment in real life, sure, I still think the concept would be a massive hit. Maybe. You could be right. Oh, okay. Actually, that worked out pretty well. I really do need to maybe get on that large amenity thing, though, because it looks like we might need that. Especially once I replace my small hotels with big ones. Do I have the manpower, the human power, the brain power to do the large amenity thing? No, not yet. Three fifty nine, three fifty nine, three fifty nine. We need to increase the appeal of this one. What's the appeal over here? Five thirty. We really need to rack up some more appeal. How about here? Local dinosaur appeal two thousand six hundred ninety seven. Ah, here we go. There. Okay. So that's going to take us up another 12. Can I... Actually, you know what? Let me back out of this for just a moment. 2 upgrades. Ah, good. That's what I wanted. 4, 4, and 4, plus another one for good measure. Okay, so the chopper's landing over there. 
once these guys are done resting, we might have the brain power available to do the large hotel research. You know, at this point, we've been working on San Diego for so long that when we do finally finish it, I might actually miss it. Okay, we've got some more terrain weirdness going on here. Yeah, fossil extraction complete. Okay. We've got the bring brains to bring dinosaurs back from extinction, but we just can't see how a building can be bigger. Well, there's more to it than just making the building bigger. You've got to be able to manage the resources inside the building effectively. Uh, you know, designate areas and all that. But yeah, I know what you mean. It's a pretty trivial problem compared. <laughs> Ah, resting complete. Okay. Because I'm still... I don't think we've actually managed to do the hatchery research. Oh, no, we did do the hatchery. Oh, not... We did the... Wow, we did hatchery upgrades, too. Yikes. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this, then. Before I've even used the hatchery, we'll get the cheaper genetics upgrade for it, so we'll save even more money. I love that you grasp my mocking puns, yes. Don't mind me if I ever go on extremely Captain Literal mini rants like that, though. That's just how my brain works. I try to minimize it. Even when I get it, I sometimes can't help it. What do you mean, obstructed? That can't be obstructed. Damn it. Okay. Hey, Kellen Ray. Wiggles is the master of puns. Excellent. You're going to get along very well here. Looks like a great place to house a secret base full of bioweapons. Not like the government hasn't done that before. These are beautiful, majestic creatures that are just here for the paid enjoyment of others. They're not weapons in any way, shape, or form. Thank you very much. Well, everybody knows that puns are funnier when you explain them. That's just how humor works.
And the atomic bombs in New Mexico were just testing fission for nuclear plants? Yes, that's correct. Specifically, nuclear cactus. Every joke is funnier when you explain it. That's true. Well-known scientific fact that... Uh, I guess it's not going to let me do this, huh? Okay, fine. Well, you know what? Maybe we'll do this as part of the quarantine lab. Except I didn't leave myself any space to do that, so maybe we won't. Then I have another cunning plan. Nope, nope, wrong, incorrect, mistakes were made. There we are. Now, in theory, we should be able to connect this to a hatchery. They got the explosive part done. Harnessing was a bit harder. You know when a bad joke becomes a dad joke? When B gets mad and turns around. I could have sworn that a bad joke becomes a dad joke when it becomes a parent. But I might be mistaken about that. Also, when it's fully grown, I like that one. Very well done. There we are. Excellent. Why is that hatchery 2? Would that not imply the existence of a hatchery 1? Pretty sure we don't have one. Oh, crap. I forgot. We can't do random skin colors on... What? That's awesome. Since when do I have options on Velociraptor skin colors? What? That's so cool. I wonder if that's new with the DLC. The expansion might have added something. Anyway, there's no point in modifying the genome if we can't do the random skin tones and patterns. Okay, we don't have anybody that makes this faster, easier, better, etc. So we're just going to give our generalists the job. And we'll see how it goes.
we don't really need water in here because we're not going to use this for anything except for capturing the moment of release for certain dinosaurs. Raptors probably, well, actually, no, we're probably not even going to use it for the raptors, honestly. We're just going to airlift them into here, but we'll see how that goes. Oh, wait a minute. Before we do that, very important, I do have upgraded fencing. Not as much as we would maybe want for raptors, but probably better to upgrade now rather than wait. It's always nerve-wracking trying to upgrade when dinosaurs are live and in the pen. I'm running slow on my puns? That's okay. Better upgrade now before you have to exclaim clever girl right before you're eaten alive? Precisely, Kalanai. Okay, now since we are very close to releasing them into the pen, let's make sure we've got a couple of live feeders. Now, I think they're going to want some forest. I seem to remember they like having some forest. Do they not want for? Oh, but that was the other environment. They might not care as much. I'll probably just add a few scattered things to make it look better, if nothing else. Snowrunner's a massive game, 65 hours down and only barely started Michigan, and a brief visit in Alaska and just now started doing logs. Oh, it's done. Oh, crap, you know what I forgot to do? I went and upgraded, or yeah, researched all these... And then I didn't actually apply anything. Cheaper genetics, advanced equipment. There we go. Okay, so intolerant. Well, I don't actually plan to have these guys cohabitate with anyone, so that's okay. Aggressive and intolerant. Oh, God. We're going to do all five. Uh, you're going to get a commercial? I'm sorry about that. I think we had a discussion the other week about the commercials, and it turns out I had actually missed something. Twitch has a bunch of options that are buried in a menu that's not obvious is actually a menu. So I think I was able to reduce the frequency of the commercials. Or maybe not the frequency so much. I... I I think there are fewer commercials. I don't think anybody's getting like three or four minute commercial blocks anymore. I hope. Nobody's complained about it anyway for a while. Yeah. 
Your last on phone was a set of four. For how long did they last, though? Was it like a minute and a half? I think it should, if memory serves, which it very well might not, it should top out at about a minute and a half maximum. 20 seconds each. Yeah, that's that sounds about right. That should be, hopefully, about as bad as it can get, if I remember right, and if I set it up right. That's always the other issue, is if I've got it set wrong, things might still get bad, but... Hopefully it's not too bad. Did you, CD? Uh, I'm sorry about that. Mostly you've just missed me sitting here staring at the ticking down clock on the Velociraptor incubation period. We do get paid for the, uh, like, affiliates and partners do get paid for the ad breaks. So it does help. We need to acquire more land. Oh, that sounds all kinds of concerning. <laughs> We're outgrowing our current facility size. Success breeds expansion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got a caution against uh, uh, biting off more than you can chew. Which isn't a problem for the dinosaurs, but is a recurring issue for humanity. I think it'll be all right, Dr. Malcolm. The state of California has approved the permit. They're as excited by Jurassic Park San Diego's success as we are. There are a few requirements. Of course. Yes, as one would expect. And uh, I'm one who would expect. We'll need to purchase the land, but then we should be good to go. Good to go? Uh, where? You know, that's always been one of the issues with this type of paleontology, hasn't it? Not where we are, but where we're headed. Because that's where you find chaos, waiting, uh, patiently. Expand park boundary. Yeah, we do get a bit of a cut of the ads, but it really doesn't amount to as much as some people seem to think it does. I mean, I don't think there's a streamer alive who would go to extremes to increase their ad revenue compared to just about any other element of the streaming experience. Unless maybe they have a, you know, custom negotiated contract that gives them a lot more. Uh, but, yeah. Yeah. What was I doing? Uh, right. Enclosures. We need a ranger post in here. i put that there. Now we need a ranger team to look after the raptors. So, good luck to whoever gets that assignment. And that's going to be ranger team two, actually. They can thank me later. This team here, the medical center, is very close by. They're going to get the enviable task of dealing with the raptor's well-being. And... They're already assigned to four. I guess I'm going to have to do it, though. I don't have another capture team. I love that Jeff voiced for this. I'm a huge fan of his. Yep, same.
Well, we're actually not supposed to talk too much about the details, so I can't go into exactly who gets how much of what and where and when and all that, but... Asset has been collected. There we go. Okay, comfortable. Perfect. Perfect. Oh my god. Nice. Exactly enough water, open space. They've got prey more than they actually needed. They've got enough area. Excellent. 547 dinosaur appeal. One of your favorites is Earth Girls Are Easy. I haven't seen that in so many years. Asset transportation in progress. Delivery complete. 720, 905. This is going to be the hot destination. It may not be easy to watch, but fighting is a part of nature. Corner any animal and watch them react. With the dinosaurs, it's normally just on a larger, more violent scale. Was Jim Carrey also in that? I don't remember that. Man, it has been a while since I've seen it. Especially since I talk too much and scan for any response, that's fair. He played one of the aliens, that's so cool. He was the blue one. Are you sure it wasn't a green mask? Yeah, same, Jim. I really don't like the mid-rolls at all. The only reason I do them at all is to get rid of the pre-rolls. But honestly, I wonder maybe if the pre-rolls are preferable. Oh, crap. I just realized that... Well, I guess it doesn't matter. This is really not going to be used. I just realized that I kind of cut off all the space I was planning to use for expanding these into large amenities, but I can just chop a bunch of this off. This is nothing but a temporary holding pen anyway. Oh, good. It's sandstorm time. How's our shelter coverage? Not so great over here. I don't really have the space yet for it. Could use one over that way too, I guess. Twitch has nothing whatsoever about breaks at all, JH. That's entirely on the streamer.
Well, the scheduled ad break thing is what I'm using now, Jim. I find it very inconvenient for timing my own breaks, though, because it's not terribly flexible, and it, it technically it does have a thing that you can look at as a streamer to see what's going on, and oh my god, what the heck are they doing? But I don't know, maybe it's the way I've got my stream set up and all that, but I find it like... It's it's very difficult for me to see it, and I can't really rearrange it, and... Oh, actually, hang on. Is this... I'm just playing with the interface here. Okay, okay, so, yeah. I just realized the problem is that I use chat on a vertically flipped monitor. It's a uh, vertical orientation instead of landscape. And so my window, my browser window that I keep the Twitch dashboard in is a lot more narrow than typical. And so the the countdown for the amount of time since the last ad played is actually hidden by default. It's there for me to see, but I have to scroll this invisible scroll bar over to the right to be able to see it at all. Otherwise, I can sort of see the almost equivalent, you know, the pre-rolls are currently off. But even then, that's not quite the same countdown, because right now I'm showing it's been 14 minutes since the last ad break, and pre-rolls are off for another 17 minutes and 30 seconds. That's, you know, there's a relationship there between the two, but it's not as clear as you might hope for. Screen design is hard, that's true. Oh, it still is that way, JH, but it, uh, you know, it depends on whether or not you're using the ad manager, and they're really strongly encouraging us all to use the ad manager and what's going on. Silicosis. Weakens dinosaurs caused by exposure to sandstorms. Dinosaurs will recover to this disease over time. Cannot be medicated by MVU. Okay. Interesting. Diseased silicosis. I think that's it. A couple of cases of silicosis and that's all. So we kind of got off easy there. Now, they can't have medication for this one. They just have to recover on their own, but that's okay. Okay, so everyone's coming back out. We're doing okay money-wise. We got our species count up. We have some nice, attractive, carnivorous, nasty dinosaurs with lots of teeth. Let's see if we can't get that park boundary up. What did I have? Oh, there we go. Oh, Flores, you need a break. While they're taking a break and we're doing a little bit of uh, land buying, let's check our expedition map and see what more we can work on. Parasaurolophus. Actually, you know what? I lied. We have not done a very good job of beelining the Carnotaurus. We need to work on that. We... Oh! Never mind. We don't need to work on that. We got that automatically in the course. So... That means we do want to go look at our expedition map, and we do want to find out where the Carnotaurus is from. That's Majungasaurus. We want them too, but not right this moment. Okay, so we need to go to Argentina, 
but our staff are too busy right now, so we'll have to wait on that. Speaking of staff, we might be able to alleviate that problem by hiring another scientist. Positive faster incubation might be good. Faster research, cheaper incubation, faster incubation, faster extraction. Okay. Not what I was hoping for. The sickness came from the storm? Yes, it did. Apparently the dinosaurs can't breathe sand when the winds get that high. Yeah, that makes sense. The sheep are lunch for my sharp-toothed friend. We actually use goats in the park. Fun dinosaur fact there. It kind of makes a perverse kind of sense. Goats will eat anything, and virtually anything in the park will eat goats. Could always get the faster extraction lady. She's pretty good at genetics, too. And we are falling a little short on genetics. Staff improvements, too. Research available. Okay. How's about large electrified fence? That is one thing I like about the game over the movie. Oh, what? Oh, okay, still recovering. Uh, I like that they just raise the goat up and instead of being chained there in the spot count. it is runs a around of how the park is doing and how you are doing we're making solid progress but we still need more dinosaurs one way we can get there is by increasing a dinosaur's genome percentage see that our scientists are focused on making it happen don't forget to check in with the expedition center it should be a beehive of activity and there's always opportunity to be found of course, we want everyone to come visit the dinosaurs, but we also want to track specific guest types that can affect our ratings. Remember to stay focused on our park rating for continued success. Oh man, this dinosaur appeal we got here. That's real good. Don't goats have horns? Do they at least cut those off first? I really don't think that the horns on a goat are going to be a big problem for a dinosaur. I mean, look at all the other dinosaurs that dinosaurs might be eating. They make the horns on a goat look laughable in comparison. Okay, food is doing good. Much better now. Shopping. We need another shop out this way. Two, actually. We need something here and we need something in there. So, how are we looking? We're not going to be able to do it now, but how are we looking on the large amenity front? That's attractions. We want amenities. Okay, staff are busy, but we can almost do it. Pretty close. Wow, Wiggles. <laughs> Large electrified fence. Perfect. You know, I think I'm going to wait till we get lar the, uh, the level 5 security fence before I upgrade the Tyrannosaur Paddock. 
it feels really awful having them contained only behind a level two fence because they would brush it aside like toilet paper if they felt like getting out of there. In fact, maybe we should just go for it. But I don't want to have to upgrade that entire pen twice. So let's just wait until we've got the you know, the final upgrade and we'll just do it all at once. No sources of silicosis remain in the park. I would love to know more about the unsung heroes of this park, the people that drive these vehicles. I have to wonder if they recruit drivers from stunt racing circles. Now the other thing, can I by any chance perhaps build another staff center? Yes, I can. Isn't that convenient? Now another concern. Power usage, 55 of 60 and 60 of 60, so we're going to need another power station very soon. How much do those Jeep crews get paid? I know, right? Especially the ones that have to go into the raptor cage. Faster research, cheaper incubation. Okay, this looks like it's still basically the same group we had last time. Have a total dinosaur appeal of 4,000. I'm a lot less worried about the T-Rexes dying now that we've got the raptors, because man, they've got good appeal. It's not T-Rex good. But actually, it's pretty darn close. It's really close. So if we get the raptors and then we're able to get the Carnotars and Majungasaurus, I think we'll be in really, really good shape. Okay, one of the Rexes is down, the other's over there, so we're going to start sneaking in some upgrades over on this side, I think. Too slow, guys. Look at the goats making a beeline for the exits. <laughs> okay, they're a little active over on this side now. I'm not gonna... Oop, up, up. Oh, there we go. Oh no! 
terrible pun or dad joke redemption, huh? Okay. There's a reason they're called terrible, though. I'm just saying, you might regret this. It's often questionable whether they're even legitimately jokes. The Gotastrophe, wow. Okay, well, let's see. Hang on a second here. I need to... Ouch, that was blinding. Okay. I had to find one, sorry. Why didn't the man take his trash out for the waste collectors? They'd already been and gone. There you go. I'm so sorry. I think my best dad joke is me, I'm a dad, wow. <laughs> I told ya. That's not the redemption to use if you want good jokes. I can make no guarantees. That's a big segment. I'm a little nervous about that one. quick while they're walking away. Oh, jeez. That's another long segment. If I were smart... In fact, maybe what I should do... Um, well, I can't really do it over here, but... build that first and then upgrade this so that I'm not actually leaving it open ever. Can't do it everywhere. Can't do it here. Why is that not building? What the heck? Oh, that was weird. Was I just too quick on the draw or something? What the heck? Okay, looks like we've got a compy right there, so I can't upgrade this one right now. But we can go back here. I think this time I might wait until it's actually completely finished building. I could, but we're already very tight on space in there for the Tyrannosaurs. I don't want them to get upset and bust out of the cage because they don't have enough open area. Mm, 
No. Got copies right there. I mean, I guess I could try it. What is obstructing them? Oh, there's a goat. <laughs> it's only temporary if they're incensed by the lack of space. It's only going to be for a minute. Hopefully they won't break out and eat everybody in the meantime. Hey, Frost Soul, how's it going? Release the Kraken? We have no Kraken. How do you feel about T-Rexes? Maybe Velociraptors. I'm not nearly as worried about these side bits over here. I don't even think the Rexes could fit through there. Just because they seem to be circling around the entire thing, I'm not going to replace that one. Oh, no! No! Okay. I'm glad they actually did a really good job with the building stuff. It won't build if they're too close. And that's why, because one of them was running right in. So now we just need these guys to clear out. Doing okay? Just got to travel across the state for some work later in the evening. Oh, I hope it goes well. Wait, we can make dinosaurs but not oversized calamari? Nope, I'm afraid not. Are the T-Rex just a grade above the U-Rex? This guy really needs to move. Excuse me, sir. That's not the best place for your nap. Thank you. Clear out of there. Off you go. Started a new service for the public. What did you do? That sounds exciting. There. All upgraded. And what the heck? Oh no. What? Destroyed? 50,000 to replace the team. Swallowed object. Oh my god. I think I have to build a new response center now. I don't think that I can... 
Oh, that's expeditions. I always mistake them for a response. Yeah, I can't assign tasks because they're already full up. We need another response team. Honestly, the Raptors probably should have one just dedicated to them and them alone. Okay, now we need power. Let's get one of these doohickeys over this way. And then we'll put another one. Ah, what the heck, we'll put it there. I can independently make merch for streamers with these hands. That's amazing, Frost Soul. Suddenly, what? Holy, cr how is it 4 a.m.? What the hell? You're mistaken, it's just 11 p.m. Gord still has lots of hours to do. Wow, JH. Which is better than the sweatshop stuff. Yeah, true. Okay. Now, which... That's Ranger Post 10. Where is... There. I didn't, oh my, I didn't know you could have multiple teams assigned to pens. That's really cool. That's seriously cool. How did I not know this until now? You're not a Ranger team post I'm going to try this one with the two assignments I'm hoping the closer ones will be the priority I just want to see how that works out There we go. Now let's find out if we have enough medical expertise to actually do the treatment. Looks like we do. Also looks like we have somebody badly in need of a rest. And we're probably due for another expedition because we can try for Argentina now with Carnotaurus. Now the really harrowing upgrade is going to be the Raptors because we had a tougher fence on these guys. But it's all still only level three. It was not listed in the manual, but it was an option. Yeah, I actually have to admit something. I have never looked at the manual for this game. I was not even aware it actually had one. It's been a very long time since I... 
spot to even check for game manuals. They used to be one of my... Well, okay, this might be an exaggeration. I always used to like them as part of the experience. Maybe saying that one of my favorite parts of the experience is an exaggeration. But they used to be so cool way, way back. Okay, so how is treatment going? Ah, just beginning. One that came with Super Mario Brothers 3 was awesome. I don't think I ever saw that manual. I was never really a console player until actually relatively recently. I was always a big time PC gamer. En route to pick up the asset. Park rating and profit has grown by 4%. We are actually well above three and a half stars, which is encouraging. Or no, sorry, we're almost at three stars, I should say. We need to get our species count up, so that's where Carnotaurus is going to come in. I wonder if this would be enough space for Carnotaurus. But I kind of want to do a bigger enclosure for them, because they're going to share with Majungasaurus. Yeah, the ones that had maps were always really good. Like, when I think of really good box sets with excellent manuals and maps and stuff like that. I go to the Ultima series. They always had great ones. They'd have like the game manual that told you how to play and then they'd have a book about all the magic in the game, like kind of a spell book sort of deal. And then they were always very fancy printing and all kinds of stuff. And then they would include a map, but instead of being printed in the manual, the map was actually, it was a cloth map. And they'd usually include, like, I know Ultima 4, when you got the box for that, it included, like, an Ankh necklace, necklace because the Ankh was an important symbol within the game world. Stuff like that. It was really, really, like, they used to go all out on that stuff. It was really cool. Okay, Carnotaurus. Let's go. Sixty-eight percent right out of the gate. Oh, and they're extracting really quickly because we do have that one guy that does the faster extraction stuff. Now, I know we're doing extraction. How are we on research? Large hotel. Looks like we can do it. We're going to get these guys because cheaper research and then we can rest both of them. And Holloway can help. I think that's going to help a ton because what I'm going to do is put large hotels here. Maybe I'll just keep the small hotels as they are. But I, I think to try and be even a little smarter about it. I'll build the large hotels further along this way so that there's space and I can upgrade these if I feel it's necessary because it's probably going to be necessary. Let's be honest. Speaking of upgrades and necessi <laughs> necessity, that's the word. I am getting pretty tired. I should probably end soonish. We do need shopping. People have been complaining about that for a long time.
we're gonna go with leisure wear, actually, I think. Or you know what? No, we've got barely any interest from general and adventure seekers. Tons from these guys. We're gonna go specifically for designer goods to appeal directly to these guys. We're gonna do the aquarium. And then I'm going to wait for the thing to be built, and we'll see how it pops up. I have to drop out, but got you hosted on my arrival. Thank you so much, Wiggles. I really appreciate that. Thanks, Crystal Dragon, for bringing us here. Thank you for being here. Thanks for the fun and great bad joke. Best of luck on this map. Thank you so much, Wiggles. There's a fairly decent chance that we'll be playing this again very soon. Ah, uh, yes, Carnotaurus, Viable Genome. Um, it, it's vaguely possible I might play this on Maker Monday. It's a lot more likely that we'll end up playing it, you know, Thursday, Friday, Saturday sometime. Maybe all of the above. Tomorrow, uh, for sure, though, being Retro Sunday, we're going to be continuing the playthrough that we've had going for a while now of Final Fantasy IV Pixel Remaster. And then, I think, I don't know, it's, it's, it's going to tempt me to play this on Maker Monday. It really is. But I also really want to get back to doing some Satisfactory. So I'm not sure which I'm going to land on there. Did I just do, I just got my research, but, oh, no, that was the large hotel. Okay. Uh, oh, you're still researching. Okay. Gotta wait till they're done. Blah. There we go. There we go. Man, you raptors. I love that. I, I, I bet that ranger team just loves this assignment. It's got to be just the best. Wow, tranked in mid hunt. Research complete, large hotel. Okay, let's see. How large is a large hotel? I know I've built them many times before, but. Ooh, wow, that is actually pretty big. I might need to rearrange my power boxes a little bit. Okay, so if I put this right there, maybe if I even just sneak it into the corner of the pen. Yeah, I'm going to have to move those, I think. That's okay, though. That's awesome, CD. Okay, let's see. If I put that... There. Then I can get rid of both of these two.
that leaves enough room for me to replace this with another one if I want to. And I will want to. That's pretty much a given. Really? Should head out and get rest myself. Take care. Always a pleasure spending time with you here. It's so nice to have you here, CD. Have a fantastic night. I will catch you again soon. Thank you for sharing your wonderful community with us. I really appreciate that. I will note, as far as these vehicles under threat go, so far we've only had one ranger team destroyed, and it was not the Rexes that did it. I'm looking at you, Raptors. How is that jeep not destroyed? Apparently it's not for lack of trying on the Rex's part. Okay, the hotel just reminded me, we have power consumption, we have to consider usage 60, usage 60, yes, so I need another power plant. We're going to be draining our backup generators at this point. Okay, so that's being built. We should be good. It's shopping. That's looking much better. A lot better. Excellent. Velosa Burgers. Also looking pretty good. How about drinks? We do have some slight mismatches there. We could use a little bit more for the general folk. Do a play area. Now, okay, so we've got the large hotel. Oh, uh... We've also got the research done. Let's make sure our scientists get rested.
What about large amenities? Did we ever nail that one down? No. Okay. That's going to be next because that's our money. We have to upgrade small and medium to large wherever we can. Won't always be able to. We've got some built in here and they have to stay small because there's no room for anything more. But that's okay. We can work with that. That helps with our coverage considerably. Unfortunately, it's now getting on towards 4.30 in the morning. And I really think it's time for me to wrap up. Everybody seems to need to go to sleep, and I really should not be an exception to that. So I think we're going to go find somebody to raid. If you guys wouldn't mind coming along, that would be great. Let me just get my list of people that are awesome. Okay, let me see here. Laxative Legacy is on. He's playing some Elden Ring. Speaking of Elden Ring, we had Mo Wanders come in earlier with some Elden Ring. Lax is also playing that, if you guys were into watching that. Oh, wow. Did Elden Ring just get a big update or DLC release or something like that? Because Bunny Tokyo is also on and also playing Elden Ring. It's been a while since I've seen so many people streaming it. Kismet is on, playing something called The Cycle Frontier. I have no idea what that's about. I've never heard of the game, but I like the sound of the name. Simcopter1 is on. He's playing some Escape from Tarkov. T with Mandy is playing Monster Hunter Rise. Mandy's always fun to go visit. And What If Julia is on, playing Marbles on Stream. I think that's about it for this evening. Burke Black is also on, but he really doesn't need our uh, raid at this point. Actually, I mean, even Julia doesn't. She has more than a K 1k viewers right now, but Julia's awesome anyway. So let me go. Oh, I missed people. I'm, it's, it's getting late. I, I swear I can't see. Laxative Legacy is playing some Elden Ring. I'll just go over the list again really quick. So, Lax with Elden Ring. Then, Bunny Tokyo with Elden Ring. Then, Slappy Jack is on. He's playing something called I'm on Observation Duty. And it does kind of look like he's using, you know, security cameras. So, that's possibly interesting. Another game I've never heard of. Kismet's playing The Cycle Frontier. Simcopter with Tarkov. Mandy with Monster Hunter. And Julia with Marbles. Thank you, Mad. Thank you, JH. Any particular place you would like to go visit? Because I have ideas in my head. I'm thinking tonight... We, we actually went and raided Julia last night, and she was very near the top of the... Yeah, the highest view count when I went through my list. So I'm thinking maybe tonight we raid near the bottom. Bump up somebody who has fewer viewers. Yeah, Marble's on stream, but that's Mandy, or not Mandy, that's uh, Julia again. She's the one with more than a thousand viewers. So... Not only did we just raid her, but she also really doesn't need the raid. As much as I love visiting her, she's an awesome person and good friend of the channel. Uh, she doesn't need the doesn't need the raid quite as much tonight, right now, as maybe some other nights. But surely you've seen marble streams before jh it's actually where it, it it's i want to say it's viewer participation because you as a viewer can have a marble and it's like a marble race down a set course but participation makes it sound like you're actively playing with the streamer whereas with marbles on stream there's no actual play it's just like 
you have named marbles representing the streamer and other people in chat and they race down a course and you can't control them in any way they just go so it's more of a viewing participation kind of event It's a quite an addictive game. No wonder she's up there with viewers. Number oh, Julia's often up there. Julia is amazing. Julia is wonderful. Uh, she's just really, really popular and has a high view count pretty normally. But that's the best part. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Twist plus friends, another longtime friend of this stream, uh, also does marbles quite often. I think we're going to go with Laxative Legacy tonight, though. I think we're going to go raid him and uh, see how he's doing in his Elden Ring stream before I forget how to speak entirely. I apologize. I am going downhill so quickly right now. So, let me get you his link. There we go. And I'm going to quit out of the game as well. I did, did just... Yeah, I just saved, so we'll quit. There we go. Let me get you the raid call. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Library Raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote and the wave emote of the channel. If you are a sub, if you are not a sub, you can use the Twitch Raid and the Tomb Raid emotes. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own that you'd like to use, if there are other streamers' emotes that you'd like to use, or if there are other Twitch emotes you'd want to use, go ahead and copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So I am going to get my own raid message copied here. Where are we? There we are. There we go, all copied and ready to go. So we're going to go raid Lax. I'm going to load up his stream, actually, while I'm also thinking about it, and just make sure he's not on a break, because that happens sometimes. Okay, I do have a little bit of an ad to sit through, but it's a short one. Uh, and we'll go over and see how uh, Lax is doing in Elden Ring. I will be back tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be Retro Sunday. It will be the long-awaited return of... Final Fantasy IV Pixel Remaster. Uh, okay, Lax is not on a break screen. I have his channel muted, so I'm not sure if he's talking to chat or something. But he's not actually doing anything at the moment. But that's okay. We'll go right over, and if he happens to be, you know, stepped off away from the keyboard for just a moment that'll be all right it doesn't look like he's actually on a scheduled break or anything like that so let's get over to lax's channel share the love we've had a lot of support tonight i really appreciate it oh and a quick update um throne gifts we had a bit of activity on that the other night which i really appreciate i'm really really grateful uh and a gift was purchased they're going to alert me when the gift is actually purchased and on its way to me. So I will make sure that I let you guys know in chat when that happens. Just so that you're aware and not expecting it to have arrived today or tomorrow, I will be able to let you know. So as soon as there's movement on that, I will let you know what happens. Uh, it's usually apparently a matter of like one to three business days before it actually gets purchased and sent my way. So I, I, I will definitely keep you in the loop. So let's get over to Lax's channel, folks, and I will see you in, uh, you know, I, I, I'll i see you over in his channel, and I'll see you back here tomorrow night for some Retro Sunday. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world. I appreciate all the support so incredibly very much. Bye for now. Trying to deprive me of my... Oh! Oh, damn it, Serana! God. You can't stop me. The droid engages its patrol mode 
and moves off to carry out your programmed instructions. Good job. Well, I guess I don't need to worry about the data spikes then. That was not a sniper shot. 